We are about to enter a room that I don't think I've ever shown you at my house. It's actually my closet right here. And this is, I just almost tripped because look at all of this on the floor. Look at all of this. These are all my shoes down here. Clothes are up here on this side. We have some clothes over on this side. And the reason I'm doing it is because I actually just found an item on Marketplace that I want to put in here that we are going to go pick up together. And that's kind of the premise of why we are doing this makeover. I just found it like 10 minutes ago and I was like, I think I want to put this in my closet. And so Justin and I, he's behind the camera, um, <laughs> we decided to go pick this up. So let's head out. I want to share it with you guys too. It is 400 bucks, which, what are you doing? What are you doing? The armoire is $400, but I think it's going to really make the entire closet. Like, that's really all we're going to be purchasing. Other than some other supplies, some new hanging rods, and some paint to give it, like, a fresh look. And then we're going to be styling. So, let's go get this armoire and start this mini closet makeover. We just got here. First of all, her house is so cute. Look at this little rug over here. And this is the piece that I want to get for the closet. So cute. Here she is. <laughs> Here's the lady herself. <laughs> she actually has a really good Facebook. You have a lot of curated good items. Oh, thank They're you. They're so pretty. Such we a love. Answer. I'm out of breath. We had to break this down the stairs. Um, but it was definitely worth it. It's really cool and it's actually super old, you guys. Like, I don't know if you could see the back. It kind of looked a little newer in photos, but getting here, you can actually tell how old of a piece this is. And something else I didn't know too is that the sides are actually slatted. I love it because it will let a little ventilation for the shoes so it's not like trapped inside. Ready to go. We stopped by Urban Americana, which is kind of like an antique store on the way home because the arm wall was kind of out of the way. And I figured if we're out of the way, we're going to go to a place out of the way. But look at how cute this rattan bar is. I love it. It's like a mid-century kind of style. The side's kind of like angled like this. I'm considering turning my little office room that I created into like a bar. And I feel like this can be so good. How sculptural and cool these are. Oh, pretty. That's so cute. I ended up stopping by a thrift store yesterday on the way home and spending like mm, far too long there. Didn't get around to starting on the closet yesterday, so we are starting today. Something I want to mention at the beginning is this closet's going to be a little challenging to film in because it is so small and like there really isn't too many spots to put the camera. Something I want to do to start is get the shoes off the floor. I also want to get all the clothes out of here. I'm just going to pop these all on the guest room bed. I actually just recently did like an entire closet purge and like a shoe purge too. That's why there's kind of a lot of stuff like all over the place in here because they recently went through so much. I've already done that step, but if you were doing your closet makeover, I would definitely suggest going through your clothing first before taking it all out. Go through it, donate some pieces, sell some pieces, and then keep some pieces as well. Doing BTS for the TikTok. Found this Freaky Friday sound. We're gonna play it at half the speed so then I can double the speed and so everything's flying really quickly. I should be like here-ish. Oh, yeah, more there. I can also be like pulling things down and throwing them on the ground, like yeah. I'm looking for something. Yeah. What? I'm ready. <laughs> Start of the TikTok has been filmed. Let's clear the closet. Good thing, it gets it snows here a lot. I know. <laughs> this is the side that the arm wall is gonna go on. So over here, I think we're gonna salvage this shelf because there's not one over here. And we can reuse this on the top. That way I can put some baskets up there. <laughs> She's really stuck in there. <sighs> okay, well, got this out. 
But we can still use this. This bobby pin is from like 1950. Should I sell it? <gasps> Vintage bobby pin. As many of you know, with my house, I do try to preserve as many of the original elements that I can. This is the only thing I've ever removed original to the house, and that was the cedar box in my closet. There's just multiple cedar closets throughout this home, and I just found that this was just extremely in the way for any sort of transformation I could do in here. I also patched all the holes that were created from removing that and then smoothed out the walls with just some joint compound and then sanded that down and cleaned it all up with my O cedar mop, which this thing is just a lifesaver. I'll link it for you guys. off the walls, cleaned the floors, got them covered, and we are now going to be opening the paint, which I picked up from Lowe's. So I wanted to do a super unexpected color in here, one that I never use. It's brown. <laughs> it's a shade of brown. It actually probably looks orange on camera. Like a pumpkin. Like a copper penny. Yeah, it looks like a copper penny. This is actually the same color I painted the hutch right in front of me. Um, if you guys remember, I used this color. It's called Antiquarian Brown, which is a Sherwin-William historic color. And I just wanted this to feel like a warm, cozy, like almost 70s-esque dressing space. I don't know. I just thought it would be like a really cool color as a backdrop in here. That would complement my clothes really nicely and the wardrobe that we found. So I think we're going to do the ceiling, all the walls. It's a really small room, so I think it should go pretty quick. I just went ahead and painted the second coat on the closet this morning. So essentially we have like an empty little room that is painted this dark antiquarian brown and I love it. I think it is so pretty. The light is currently on in there, but as you can see, it's really dark and moody, but in person, like it feels so good. And I'm really excited to add in the hanging rods. I also have a light fixture to add. So we have some things to do. Now these right here are what we are going to use. I actually only needed to get one of these. I don't know why I got two. I was mismeasuring in my head, but I got these one by fours and you're just gonna need one of these for even two clothing racks uh, because all I'm going to need is actually about 16 inch sections for either side to then hang the rod on. So basically I'm going to be cutting two 16 inch sections and then drilling a hole wide enough for our clothing rod, which I also picked up new clothing rods at Lowe's as well, and cut some little slits into one side just so that everything can be mounted properly. And I'm gonna be hanging two rods because I am on the taller side, so thankfully for me, I can kind of reach up here and then also down here, which is just gonna maximize the amount of clothing I can have. So I actually went to another closet in my house and I measured how far away from the wall the rod was and it was 12 inches. So I decided that I wanted to cut each of my boards down to 15 inches long and I cut four of them. And then I cut a small piece of my wooden dowel that I would use just kind of as a placement. So I measured 12 inches out from the end there, placed my wooden dowel, and then I traced around that. I'm going to be drilling the hole on this wood piece. And these little wood sections are going to be the brackets that are actually going to be mounted to the wall that are going to hold up the rod. So I used a large drill bit. I've had this set for years now and I just went right through that wood piece there and on two of them we're actually going to need to create these open little channel sections so that we can slip the rod in one side and then down through this channel on the opposite side. So I'm using my jigsaw to cut these out and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about in a minute here and the rod fit in there so I did it to my second one and if you don't cut it perfectly don't worry you just need your rod to fit and that is good to go. We are about to install the first rod and I already made the cuts for our little brackets that are gonna hold the actual rod. I want my jackets and pants to be on the bottom section here and then like all my tops to be in the top section. So I grabbed a jacket, it's kind of on the larger side and I'm just going to figure out where height wise I want this one to go. Just find the spot on the hanger with the laser level where it's kind of like right in the middle of your bar. And as you can see in there, you can kind of see the laser. So we'll be able to mount those brackets. Just a couple brad nails is all you need for all your clothing. It should never fall. Just kidding. The brad nails are just to hold it in place and then we're gonna add screws as the actual support. Gonna slide it into your one side and then 
pop it right down and there you have a hanging rod. And look how level, with the level, perfect. ended up adding in a second bar above the first and I just held up a piece of clothing that I knew was longer for the second bar and then I put my laser level where I wanted it, added the brackets, cut down the bar, and then we were able to add the bar in there. Now, of course, I did go back in and add some mounting screws just on either of these brackets to reinforce them. We have both of the racks in, and look how good this looks, you guys. Just this one wall is going to be able to store as many clothes as this entire closet did before. I do need to go in, add a couple screws to each of these brackets. Um, I'm also going to be adding a piece across the back here and repurposing that shelf I think I mentioned at the beginning. So we're gonna paint that, it across the top that way I can use the upper for some additional storage for baskets and then we're just gonna paint the rest of our bracket but I'm gonna leave the rods honestly raw I ended up cutting down that second piece of wood that I bought to create a back brace for our shelf that we're gonna be adding and then I took down the light in the closet because this one is a pull string light and I am going to have to add back in a pull string light because there is no light switch in any of the closets and I ended up finding one on Amazon super affordable with this really cute kind of star motif to it it. Look how cute this is. And they also offer this in a non pull string, so I'll link it for you. We are going to be repurposing the shelf from the other side. So it was actually two pieces that they nailed together back in the day. And so we cut them down just a tad. That's so perfect. That's actually a lot of space, too. That looks so good. We just got the armoire in the room and it looks so good. You can see that it's actually like perfectly flush with the wall. And then over here, the hanging rods, I painted the shelf up there. So everything pretty much installed for all of the <laughs> harder part of this video. And now we are going to be organizing, decorating and adding all of the fun stuff. I ordered some new hangers and organization things on Amazon last night and they came this morning and I'm gonna pop them in the closet with all my clothes and everything else that's gonna also go in the closet. I scoured through Amazon, was looking at all the metal hanger options and this one seemed like the best. I really wanted a chrome hanger or like a silver hanger just to reflect a little bit of light in the room. They come in a pack of 40, but look how cool they are and they're a lot thicker than a wire hanger like this is not just your flimsy wire hanger it's definitely more substantial we are going to transfer all my clothes into the closet right now so let's get started i mentioned that this cabinet is going to be kind of like my shoe storage cabinet um because i do have a lot of shoes and this is really a perfect like large cabinet it has three really large shelves and this is actually like a really old shelving unit the wood in the back is like just all the wood is so aged and I love the look of it, it's so great. So I already popped a pair of boots in here just to see. As you can see, like I could store tall shoes in here. I actually have like one tall pair of boots that I could pop in here as well. But I actually ordered these um, on Amazon. I'll link them for you because Marie recently had her closet like professionally organized. She paid somebody to come and organize her closet and she actually used these and they basically clip together and allow you to store a pair of shoes like stacked on top of each other where they're not touching so you can slide a shoe in here you can add one on top here's an example of what that would look like so it allows you to maximize the amount of shoe storage you have and they actually click and adjust to different heights click it into place so you can kind of adjust it based off how large your shoe is so affordable too i think you get like 24 of them for 30 dollars which i mean i thought that was a good deal so when it came to organizing my shoes, I really didn't have any rhyme or reason for this. I did put boots on the top and bottom and then all of my kind of smaller sneakers in the center there. The camera wasn't focusing when I was organizing these, but it actually did fit all of my shoes perfectly. Then I used these little uh, drawers at the bottom for my belts on one side, as you can see Winston was helping me, and then I put my ties and little bow ties on the opposite side. 
And of course, a basket for your snow clothes. I actually got this one at the Mark Collective, just a vintage shop. I love it, it's so cute. If you've watched my channel for a while, you'd know that I wear a lot of hats because my hair, to get looking like this, is a lot of work every single day. And it's not something I love doing every day. And sometimes when I'm painting and stuff, it's just easier to throw a hat on. So I have a bunch of them and I actually have a little tray here. This is from my online shop because I have space on top of the armoire to the left of where I put my snow clothes uh, to just kind of put the hats on this serving tray because then I can just easily, it's super light, I can just have all my hats on this tray and just like pull it off the top and then just pick which one I want. Back and then we just have one more right here. Look at how nice. And then I can just pop this on top of my armoire and just pull it down, pick a hat and pop it back up. This will just live right here to the side of the basket. Always the best feeling adding the final piece to a room. Finishing this off and then I'm going to reveal it to you guys. So this is our final piece we're adding. It is this stunning French bamboo mirror and I actually got this at Round Top when I was out there sourcing just for some projects. It has such a great patina to it. It's super old. I actually had this in my booth at the Mark for a long time and no one bought it. So I went there yesterday and I picked it up because I just think it would be so pretty as like the one little wall accent in this room, kind of just back here. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I love that. I don't know if I mentioned I popped this little stool that I've had down at the bottom too, because I'm gonna actually put some baskets up at the top to store all of my like legal papers and things like tax information and all that stuff because I just don't have a place to store that. I used to have a place in my old closet and I have boxes of those things that I can just pop across the top here and this will allow me to add to it. So I can just kind of move this around. It kind of tucks under the pants a little too, which is nice. And that is this closet, you guys. I think it looks so good. And I guess I'm gonna reveal it to you in three, two, one. finishes off this closet makeover video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I just love my closet so much. I cannot believe how much storage I have. The floor is finally clear. It was really the only place I had to put shoes was on the floor and they just started to pile up down there. So now they're all in this cabinet. We have my snow stuff, all of my other clothes over here and I just love this so much. Definitely give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and something I will say about this makeover is it only took a couple of days and it was such a satisfying makeover to do. So if you're looking for a fun little weekend project or just something to dive into to be a little bit creative, maybe start on your closet because you can really get like creative in that space and close the door if it's not exactly your favorite and you know fix it another time if that's the case. But I'm sure you're going to love it regardless. So that is my video for you. I still have some paint on me from painting this but I'll get that off soon. Don't forget to also check out my online shop LoneFox.com to find pieces similar to what you saw in here like this mirror. We had one of these just recently. It actually sold on there. We have pieces like the stool. We actually have pieces like this armoire as well. I do a lot of vintage furniture on the site. So there's a lot of stuff. If you've never checked it out, just take a little browse over there. It is lonefox.com and I will catch you guys all in my next one. Bye.